Today we will discuss about this embryonic development at the initial stage that will lead to the formation of the organs. During the embryonic development, uh, one of the important things that uh, occurs is this mechanics uh, is this mechanistic changes or we can say that the continuous reprogramming within the cells occurs due to the differentiation of the cells. And one of those reprogramming is related to this fatty acid oxidations. And this fatty acid oxidations will trigger the formation of this endoderm. And endoderm is one of the primary uh, primary germ layer that helps in the development of the organs. So what they have uh, find out in this uh, research is that this fatty acid oxidation plays an important role towards this endoderm uh, formations or which is one of the primary germ layer towards this organ development. So let us first understand what is this fatty acid metabolism. So this uh, fatty acids, uh, what happens when these fatty acids are formed within the cells, these fatty acids uh, will uh, convert it into this acetyl-CoA through this ACSL and thereafter it undergoes uh, several conversions, uh, several conversions and so that it will uh, form uh, energy in the form of ATPs that can be utilized uh, either for this uh, differentiation by the embryonic cells, embryonic stem cells or uh, that helps in uh, that helps in the development of the uh, germ layer uh, to, at the next stage. And one of the counter uh, process that occurs or that, preve uh, that prevents this fatty acid oxidation is this fatty acid synthesis. So in this fatty acid synthesis, the fatty acid are uh, produced and stored in the form of triglyceride. However, this does not uh, this does not support the differentiations of uh, this does not support the differentiation of this embryonic stem cells towards the this endoderm endoderm developments. So this is an uh, the indicators that are uh, term in the terms of that are indicators that are shown in the uh, form of red are the inhibitors, and whereas those that uh, uh, shown in the form of this green are uh, been knocked down or uh, we can say that these uh, can be knocked down to prevent this uh, process such as this fatty acid synthesis. So this is just a basic overview of what is the uh, process of this fatty acid oxidation and fatty acid synthesis and uh, where they are acting as a acting as a uh, uh, acting as a enemy or one act uh, against each other so this is uh, and one more thing that they have developed is that they developed a de novo de novo condition in which if the fatty acid synthesis is reduced and fatty acid oxidations are increased then they can form a definitive endoderm layer and how this will occur is that the in this condition will lead to this acetyl coa to convert this smat3 into this uh, smat3 acetylation or this acetyl coa will help in this smat3 acetylation and this will help in the relocation of this smat3 acetylated into the nucleus and thereafter this smat3 will help in this epigenetic changes or it will trigger the genes that are responsible for this endoderm differentiations and however and one more thing that researchers have observed that when the uh, fatty acid when the fatty acid oxidation inhibitors are been introduced then they do not see a, a good endoderm layer uh, form a differentiation good differentiation of this human embryonic stem cells to this definitive endoderms and simultaneously when they increase this uh, fatty acid uh, synthesis fatty acid synthesis uh, reagents then they can uh, they can also not see this differentiation of this human embryonic stem cells to the definitive endotherms uh, however when they do the reverse that is they uh, inhibit this fatty acid synthesis and upregulates the uh, fatty acid oxidation process then they can see the uh, 
good jump layer uh, formation of this endotherm which helps in the uh, development which is the primary stage for the development of the organs so from this research they find out that is the fatty acid oxidation that helps in the differentiation of this human embryonic development to uh, differentiate towards this endotherm and which is one of the uh, important one of the initial step towards the development of the uh, towards the jump layer development of the organs so i hope you understand this uh, basic differentiation phenomena that occurs in the embryonic stem cells that leads to the development of the different organs if you need to understand uh, more in detail about this uh, research you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description so that's all for this video thank you for your time